thanks, Jonathan, uh, and congratulations on having so many people, 300 plus, participating in this legal hackathon. It's really impressive. It's really important. Um, you know, when I was growing up in New York, when you talked about assuming the position, it meant something else. Uh, so I'm a little nervous about that description. And uh, I am happy to have this opportunity to greet you all. Where I come from in Washington, if you're given the opportunity to speak and you don't take it, it could be career ending. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy to just be here for a brief comment. Um, the first three things I've done, even before starting, are number one, I uh, had meetings with career services. Number two, uh, wrote a foreword for Practicum, which is a terrific new publication that you all know about, uh, which I think is unbelievably important uh, to help bridge the gap between traditional forms of scholarship and you know new uh, technology and new technology formats for uh, discussing legal developments in a way that are accessible to a wide population. And then the third is to be here with you today. Uh, I'm really passing through on my way back uh, to Washington, uh, but I did want to just stop by briefly because I think this is so important. And that, the reason is, is that I really believe, and the reason I'm so excited to be able to begin as, as your new dean is that I believe that Brooklyn Law School is the model for the 21st century uh, law school. And, and that it, it will be on the cutting edge in providing not just leaders in practice and in scholarship today, but leaders for the future. And so this is emblematic and this is where it's going. I mean, to have somebody like Tim Wu here, uh, whose book is on my bedstand, he told me I should read it, not just have it on the bedstand, but I, I'm, <laughs> I'm working up to that. Uh, uh, to have him there, here to participate, I think, is a terrific a statement of how cutting edge this whole development is. And, you know, I really do believe that there's so many issues uh, that are raised by new technology and the law and where the law is heading. I don't think we're even beginning to think about them deeply enough. You know, the law, for example, is always progressed by metaphor and by comparison of different things and somewhat like the scientific process by serendipity and accident. And I'm wondering, for example, with computer technology, where you look for what you're, you find what you're looking for, you know, just the way it works, um, that it might have some impact that we're not even aware of in, in affecting through code and other aspects, you know, how the law grows and evolves. And so I think there's a rich, rich uh, area to begin to study. And then also as a matter of social justice, so important for us as all of us as, as lawyers to think about you know, if the keys to economic opportunity and the keys to participating in government, I mean, increasingly the way you interact with government is electronically. You can't even get a driver's license or apply for benefits or, or register to vote if you're not, or, or pay your taxes uh, increasingly unless that's going to be electronic. And so if that's the case, if the keys to economic opportunity and participating in democracy, what do you do about those that don't have access to affordable broadband connectivity and know how and how to use it. And so what do you do about that and what are the solutions? I don't think we're doing enough in that area. And I really think that, you know, you're starting to work and probe in that area. So there's so many other things um, and I, I don't want to steal your day, but I just want to convey to you that I am deeply interested in what you're doing. And I believe where you're heading is exactly where you need to be heading. And this is a terrific development. So thank you again. I'm going to be available and up here as much as I possibly can. I hope you find that I'm always accessible. Um, I hope you always call me Nick, uh, for example. Uh, you can call me anything but late for dinner. And, uh, and I'm really looking forward uh, to getting to know all of you and working with all of you and, and making this the most successful law school that it possibly can be and the 21st century law school. Thanks very much.